Hello everyone, welcome back to Gitroy Tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix Baldur's Gate 3 is having crashing issue, it is not launching, won't launch, freezing and stuttering, low FPS drop, stuck or loading screen, black screen and many more issues which is happening for many of the users right now and how you can fix this up. So let's dive into the workaround. The first one is all about you can start with a simple restart. This is what you have to do as the first step. So a simple restart sometimes can fix a lot of issue. So you can start with a simple restart. So just go over here in the start over here. Click on this icon, go to the power and go for its restart. Once restart is done, once after that, try launch the game. This is a basic step. And once after that, if it's not working, let's move to the step one by one. That is all about we need to verify integrity of game file. So just go over here in the game, right click over here and go to the properties. Go to install it file and just click on the verify game file. So this is going to take a little bit of time because the game is quite big. That is 122.41G which is huge. It is going to take a lot of time. Once you click on this one and it's going to take a lot of time. And once after that, this will cross check every single files of a game. And if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing which cause the issue up, it will be cross checking every single thing. Once after that, it will be uh, once the, this is done, which reach 100 percentage, you'll be getting the play button. Once again, just launch the game and that's going to work for you as well. If not, let's move to the next step. Next step is all about we need to launch the game from installation folder. Instead of launch the game from Steam, sometime try launch the game from the installation folder. So just go over here in the game, right click over here and go to the properties. Go to install it file and click on the browse. So this will take you to this particular folder. So this will take you to very easily to the installation folder. If you check at the top, that is this PC, local disk C, program file x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, Baldus Gate 3. Now from here, you need to go to the bin over here and you have to click on the BJ3, this particular application and launch the game. This worked for many users in my knowledge, not only for this game, but for many games, including Spider-Man Morales, even GTA 5, and even the very very recently released games Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, Remnant 2, and for all these games it works, so we can try the same. So just launch the game from here and that will be working. So run the game as an admin, run the game from the installation folder and it will be working fine. So if this is not working, you can try the next step. That is all about we need to run the game as an administrator. So go over here in the game, right click over here and go to the show more options and go to the properties, go to the compatibility, click on run this program as an administrator. Once after that, just go for apply and go for OK and try launch the game. Apart from this, if you're still having an issue, you can try with the next one. That is all about we need to try running the game in the compatibility mode and it worked for many users. So just go over here in the game, right click over here and go to the show more options, go to properties, compatibility, make sure it is running in the compatibility mode. So if it's not selected, you can select this and keep in mind, you can try with Windows 7 or Windows 8. You can try accordingly and go for apply and go for OK. Once you're done with this one, just close this, close this as well and go back and try launch the game. After trying with this, if the issue is still persisting, then we can try with a few more steps. That is all about, you need to cross check time time zone and region has to be correct. For this we just need to go over here in the search, go for settings, go to time and language, go to the date and time, make sure the time and time zone should be correct. If it is not correct you have to turn this off, it is very important you have to turn on the time and time zone, go back and make sure that you have selected the appropriate geography from which where you are trying to play the game. So if you are from United States, you are know, selecting United Arab Emirates, it's not going to work. So make sure that you're selecting the correct region. I don't know if this going to work or not, but few people mentioned this. It helped them, so you can try this out. Let's not miss any possibility. Set this up to the according to your geography. And once after that, just close this and go back and try launching the game. Next one is hit on the play button, but you have to press Alt and tap from the keyboard. This worked for many of the users, so you can try this out as well. Just click on the play button. The moment you're clicking on the play button, you have to press Alt and tap from the keyboard and that will be work for you as well. So you can click on this and once after that, see whether that's gonna work or not. If that is not working, you can try with the next step. That is all about, we need to delete the saved game file. For this, just go over here in the file explorer. Now from here, go to this PC, go to documents over here. And if you find the folder on the game, that is 
Baldus Gate 3. If you find the folder, you have to delete it. You have to keep in mind when you do this, you'll be losing all the progressions of the game. But that is fine, you have to delete it. It worked for many users, so you can try this out. Once you delete with this one, you just need to close this as well. Go back and try launching the game. Next one is nothing but you can try with the next one. That is all about we need to allow the game to Windows security. So just go over here in the search, go for control panel over here. Now from here we have to go to system and security, go for windows defender firewall. Now from here go to allow Napur feature through windows defender firewall. Now from here you have to check over here Baldus gate 3, here as you can see the game is added. Make sure the private and public is checked. Over here you can see the private and public is checked and if it's not checked you can check it. Imagine the game is not added here and you can add it by default. And if you ask me the question how to do this, just go over here in the change settings, go for allow another app, go for browse. Go to this PC, go to local DC, go to program file x86, go to Steam over here, go to Steam apps. Now go to Steam apps from here, go to the common. Now from here you have to go to Baldur's Gate 3, go for the bin over here and select the game and open it. So I'll be getting the error sometimes because the game is already added. So this is what you have to do if the game is not added. If it's added, you're fine with it, just close this and go back next one. Next one is all about we need to unplug all the USB devices. So you might be filled up with the USB ports, might be filled up with additional joystick, controllers, even multiple monitors and many other things. So this even goes the issue up. I don't know how, but technically this even goes the issue up. So you have to remove everything from the USB port, launch the game. Once the game is successfully launched, just connect it back and try launch the game. And it worked for many users in my knowledge, so you can try this out as well. So this is an important step, should not be neglected in this. Once after that it's done with this, we can try with the next step. That is all about we need to perform a clean boot. So just go over here in the search, go for system configuration, go for services over here, go for disable all, go for hide all Microsoft services, go for apply and go for okay. So that's gonna ask you for restart. So those who are watching this, you have to go for restart. But for me, I'm gonna go for exit without restart because we are in the middle of shooting. So I'm not gonna go for have any lag. So you can go for exit without a restart. Those who are watching this, go for restart. Once the restart is done, go back to the game and try launching the game. Even if it's still not working, you can try with a few, few more steps, which is gonna definitely gonna help you guys out. And one among them is you have to disable the Steam overlay. So go over here in the game, right click over here and go to the properties. Make sure this is disabled. So if it is enabled, you have to disable it. Once after that, you just have to go back to the play and try launching the game. If that is not working, you can go over here. The next one is all about we need to give few commands in the launch option. So the first command is DX11. You can try with the DX11 and try launching the game. If DX11 is not working, try with DX12 and try launching the game. If DX11 or DX12, any one of the thing is not working, you can proceed with the next step. Next step is all about what you need to do. You just need to close all the overlay application. So just go over here in the game, right click over here and go to the task manager over here. Right now, as you can see, there are many things running in the background. There are many apps running in the background. So all these things are utilizing the performance, which means RAM, which even goes crashing issue. So what you need to do is we just need to find the unwanted things from here and you have to delete it. For example, if you find the apps like Discord, Riva Tuner, MSA Afterburn, etc., which comes under the category of overlay and overclocking application, you have to remove everything from here. Once you remove all these things, what you need to do is we just need to remove everything from here. Once after that, you have to close this and see whether the issue is solved or not. Still, the issue is not persisting. We can try with running the game on dedicated graphics card. So just go over here in the search, go for graphics settings. Now from here, as you can see, I have already added the game. You can add the game. If you wanted to add the game, how to add it for the first time, just click on the browse over here. Go to this PC, go to local DC, go to program file x86, go to Steam over here, go to Steam apps. Now from here, go to common. Now from here, you have to go to Baldur's Gate 3, select the bin over here and select the application and open it and you have to add it. So here I have already added the game. So if you go over here, you can see, just click on the this particular one, go to the option. So by default, this would be like let Windows decide. You need to change this from let Windows decide to high performance because when you launch the game, the graphics card GeForce RTX 2080 with Max-Q design will be running in the background. So you'll not be having any crashing issue. Or else, if you set this to let Windows decide, you'll be having a lot of trouble. So change this to high performance and go for save. Once after that, go back and see whether the issue is solved or not. Still the issue is not solved and still the issue is there. We can try with increasing the virtual memory. So just go over here in the search, go for view advanced system settings, 
go to the advanced go for setting once again go to the advanced once again go for change right now as you can see you have to select the local disk where the game is installed and in my case it is c and you have to uncheck this go for custom size and give the value initial size that is 1.5 times the total ram and the maximum size is three times the total ram so go over here in the search go for calculator so we need a calculator so we need to do the calculation so the ram of my computer is 32 gb and i have to multiply it with 1024 that brings you 32768 and you have to multiply it with 1.5 that brings you 49152 so just copy this and paste it next one to the maximum size you can try with this one 32 gb multiplied with 1024 that brings you into 3 that brings you 98304 and you have to copy this and paste it as well once you're done with this one just set everything close this and you can do a restart and once after that try launch the game most probably when you try with increasing the virtual memory this worker for many of the users for almost everyone so you can try this out as well next one is very important we have to update the graphics card so i'll be providing link in the description to both nvidia as well as for the md so nvidia users can come over here they can select everything like product type product series product operating system language etc and once after that you will be getting all these kind of details the 536.67 released on july 18th the latest one download this one install and restart the pc and if you're on the amd just go over here select every details over here and go for submit and once after that you'll be getting two options if you're on windows 11 you can download this one if you're on windows 10 you can download this one install restart is a mandatory and once after that try launch the game you can also parallel try with installing the microsoft visual c plus plus because it worked for many users so you can just go over here if your system is based on x64 you can download this one if it is based on x86 you can download this one after that restart is a mandatory and try launch the game even after trying this still the issue is not persist you can try with updating the windows so just go over here in the search go for settings over here go to the windows update update the windows and make sure this has to be in the latest version because for any of these kind of game this has to be in the latest version so just update the game and close this and once after that try launch the game even after trying with all these things still the issue is not persisting you can try with uninstall the game and reinstalling it back so just go over here select the game go to the manage uninstall the game for reinstalling it back what you need to do is we just need to go over here in this pc if you uninstall the game from c do not try to install it back on c try with any other local disk and once after that most probably the issue regarding this will be completely fixed and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye